And in business, the Lagos state government has decried the rate of motorcycle and tricycle accidents on roads across the state. In order to check this, the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Bengal Motorshow, announced that the government would reinforce the ban on motorcycles and tricycles in six local government areas, as well as major highways and bridges from February 1st. Still live in the studio with us is Chinedu Azodo. He's the co-founder and chief growth officer at Max.ng. Thank you for still staying with us. Thank you for having me. First things first, was there any prior engagement with the stakeholders before this was you know, made public? Um, there was, this was news to us. We actually heard about this from the media people who were calling to ask questions yesterday. And what, what did this mean to you? I mean, I was shocked. I was like, wait, what, really? And then we had to go on the internet because there was no formal notification, nothing. We went on Twitter and saw a um, video of the press conference. Mm. Um, I think for us, this is it's a bit reckless, the way it's been done, right? Um, beyond that, I think the biggest concern is, you know, like I pointed earlier, right? within the legal framework that they've referenced, which is the 2018 Transportation Law or Transport Sector Reform Law, um, Section 46 clearly, um, clearly indicates that um, this ban doesn't affect certain motorcycles. So motorcycles with an engine capacity of 200 cc's. What do you mean by 200 cc's? So 200 cc's are entry-level um, power bikes, essentially. Because okay. when you think about this, right, um, the idea is individuals should be able to ride power bikes in Lagos, right? Modern city and all. Yes. Um, so what people like us have done is to now say if, I mean, we're seeing that traffic is a massive problem. And not just traffic, but like, you know, just navigation, convenience, quality of roads, all those things are massive problems. A key thing that helps us solve that is providing safe, safe being a key mm. word for us, um, affordable, accessible, and sustainable transportation with motorcycles, right? Um, and we've predominantly done that. Um, as people have used these motorcycles and have gone around the city, they've experienced and enjoyed the service. Um, when this ban, I mean, we, we, we recognize that there's a ban that the government wants to put in, that the ban wants, yes. to, the government wants to enforce. It makes sense to an extent. It makes sense because people like us are able to operate independent of the ban, right? What and we're this, regulated. What does this portend for in terms of earning capacity now of the of the bike riders, what does this portend for them? So that's a fantastic question. The average driver on the Max platform today takes home or makes about two hundred thousand naira, right? Um, and after about a year and a half to two years, when they finish paying off their lease, they start to make about forty percent more on their income mm -hmm. per year, right? If you're going to limit the drivers from f getting on the highways... 10 highways, 15 local government yes. areas, 40 limit, bridges. If you make all those limits and enforce all those limits, the drivers on average can expect to make somewhere between 40 and 60,000 a month, right? And they're not accounting for the dues they will pay to unions and police mm -hmm. because people like us mm -hmm. are no longer in... or will no longer be operational if they want to include us in that part, right? Um, and when you think about the, kind of the category of drivers we have, you know, it's, it's not, uh, from what, I'm, what we're seeing, there's a lot of misinformation about the kind of quality of drivers that we have on the market. A lot of our drivers are well-educated people with bachelor's degrees. I mean, think about, you know, photographers. Think about, mm -hmm. we have guys who are music teachers on our group, on our, on our platform, mm -hmm. and a bunch of other people. A lot of these guys are people who their, works is a, their work is a little seasonal, or they don't make enough money. So they okay. do this for like, you know, three quarters of their day, or for a lot of the time, and then when they find other jobs, they they will do other jobs on the side to supplement their income. This allows them to, you know, be able to take care of their families, mm -hmm. you know, earn income properly, live a dignified life, and you know, have good quality of living. If you if you enforce um, this ban and include vehicles that are over 200 cc in engine capacity, right? You will drastically affect the quality of life of these people. So there's a ripple effect. So massive ripple effect. I mean, think about the fact that platforms like us, especially Max, we provide not just. Um, better income for these drivers. We're providing social security. So we do mm -hmm. provide health insurance for these drivers. Every single one of them have health insurance, right? They have group accident, they have group life. They're properly well taken care of, right? Because we see them as, you know, we're building entrepreneurs, like micro entrepreneurs who then have the capacity to build their own other businesses and then go on to impact their lives and protect their children and give them a better tomorrow. Well, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Because of family is all we can have, but thank you so Fantastic. much for joining us today. Thank, thank you for you. having me. All right, that's all on business news.